Let's talk a little more about the Lavo Blade Templating Engine. Okay, so so far we have two views. If you go to your resources views folder, we have the welcome.blade.php, then we also have the index.blade.php and show.blade.php. If you visit the index.blade.php, you will see that we have the same structure as the show.blade.php. So if you check out the head, you see that we have a title and then we have the same bootstrap file links right here. Same thing in the index.blade.php. So with the blade templating engine, we can go ahead and create what we call a layout file that is going to help us refactor some of these duplicated code into a single file. Let me show you what I mean. In the views, I'm going to create a folder called layouts and here I'm going to create a file called app.blade.php. Now, Everything that is duplicated within these two files, I'm going to move into the app.blade.php. For example, this is duplicated, so I'm going to paste it right here. And if we come back here, you can see that this is also duplicated. So I'm going to copy it and paste in the layout file. So the layout file is going to help as a common file for all of the views that look the same. Now, I'm going to add a body. And I'm also going to add a container div because both files have a container div, if you can see right there. Okay, so here I'm going to add a directive called yield and this is going to be content. So this is defining a section and I'm going to show you how we use this section. I'll come to the index.blade.php and I'm going to cut all of this, delete everything in here and I'm going to create a section called content and section and I'll paste the contents of that page in here but first I need to tell this file to extend the layout we created so we're gonna say add extends and I'm going to say the name of the layout is layouts.app and if we come back to the index.blade.php refresh you can see we have exactly the same thing now what happens is lavo picks up this content section and then it comes to the layouts file where we yield the content section it's going to inject it right here which means that right now in our view we only have to write what is not duplicated and what is unique to this view the layouts file keeps all the common functionality let's do the same thing with the show.blade.php in the show.blade.php we're going to cut out everything we have in the container, delete all of this, extend the layout, so extends layouts.app, and then define a section called content, because in our layout, it yields a section called content. So we say whatever is defined in this content section should be injected right here in the layout. So we end that section. And finally, paste the contents that we copied right there. So if we come now and take a look at the single view, you see it's exactly the same. Now, how useful is this? Let's take an example. We're just going to go to getbootstrap.com and we're going to copy a navigation bar. So I'm just going to go to get started. And here in the search, I'm just going to search for nav bar right here. And I'm just going to copy an example nav bar. So maybe this one right here. So I'll copy that code and I'll go to my app.blade.php and right before the container, I'm going to paste that code. If I come back to the application, if I refresh this page, you can see we have the nav bar right here. And if I go back to the to do page, you can see we have the nav bar right here. But if we did not have layout, we would have to copy this nav bar and paste it in this view and also paste it in this view, which would be a lot of code duplication. Okay, so the layout file really helps us clean up our views by putting functionality that is common to all view files in a file and calling it the layout. Okay, so since we're going to be using this navbar, let me just go ahead and clean up all the things we don't need. For example, we don't need the form. I'm just going to delete that. If I refresh, great, the form is gone. We don't need the disabled link we don't need the link with drop downs 
all we need is simply the link with the home right here and i'm just gonna put this link and i'm just gonna change the title of the app to to do's if i refresh great so if i view a to do i can use the navigation bar to go back to the home page okay so we probably want to add another link for to do's so maybe this is going to be to do's and this is going to be to do's app and this to do's app goes to the home page as such all right to do's if you click on to do's it takes us to the home page that should take us to to do's like this okay so visit to do's click on to do's it brings us to this page visit a single to do click on to do's it brings us back here all right awesome so that was your basic introduction to layout files and what did we learn in this lesson to create a layout file just create a blade file just like the ones we have in this case i called it app.blade.php and then at the top of other blade files you can add add extends directive and the name of the layout file you created this functionality is going to be common functionality amongst views is going to be extracted to your layout so in the layouts file you can create a section just like this add yields content and then in the file that extends the layout you can define what should be in that content let's take for example we want to change the title on all pages we can come to the title and we can say add yield title and then we come to each of the pages and we can create a section called title and i'm just going to end the section right here and this is simply going to say to do list so if we visit this page and refresh you can see the title is to do list but if we want the title to be different on the show page then we're just going to come here and we're going to call this single to do and maybe we could actually customize this with the to do name so if i come right now and visit a single to do you can see the title is exactly what we said it should be all right great thank you so much and see you in the next lesson